Hi, my name is Chris and welcome back to my unepic walkthrough. Last time we cleared this entire area of foul, foul monsters. And I believe the only thing left to do is go and fight the guardian of the area to get the next key. So, am I going the wrong way? Yes, I am. There's probably a quicker way to do this. Turns out there is a quicker way to do this. And it's quite convenient being on the higher part of this area because the gate is right there. Psychology. Don't worry man, I got this. It is possible. I may get knocked into lava. It can happen. This area is not too tough at the moment. These guys, you can pretty much ignore them. If you get close enough to them, you, you probably want to hit them, but... I'll just let you see uh, what they do. So it's a fairly small area we affect. <laughs> I told you. I told you. Okay, I'm back. Turns out that uh, jumping on these little slimes is not the greatest of plans. Ah. He says as he tries it again. I'm going to play it safe now, obviously. These guys won't really hurt you. Unless you're stupid enough to uh, stand right where they are. Once they've used up their balls, well basically they explode. And uh, they're not much of a threat. If you can get the first hit in, you pretty much got it won. It can be quite a useful tactic to lure them over to you, uh, but they will shoot you, and the projectiles are quite fast. So, if you've been saving up any blue essences, now is the time to use them. I would definitely advise saving some for later on, though, because you're going to need some. 
when I first played through this, again, I'm going to say this, I, I had a, a wand. And that made my life pretty easy. That was close. There are three of them here, so just to make my life a bit a bit safer. Can I use two of them? Ooh. That was close. No, no, oh no. It was nice enough to give me a nice shortcut, so I don't have to go through all of that again. I think I'm up to the same part, so I'm going to use my my bow. Wait, bow is probably not the best idea. I do need to save my my ice balls, though. So what I would advise for you is to save about a hundred blue essence before you come here. Learn from my mistakes. go. If you just play it patient, you'll get through this a lot simpler, a lot easier. So you can shoot while you're in the air, it's quite nice. But you need to jump first, or you will be locked in the animation. Here we go. Now you're gonna want to stick in this area under here and get your bow out because you're not going to be using your melee. Bring it on. First thing you want to do against any boss, lock on. Come on, lock on, lock on. There we go. For now, that's not too much of a problem. Start spamming those ice bolts, man. Ow. I'll say ow, it didn't actually hurt that much. So I think a good tip to give you here, if you haven't already seen it, is just to wait for him to get a good angle. You don't want to waste your ice balls. Or wait for him to get at this angle. Here he comes. I'm not sure if I can dodge him or not. But I'm going to try jumping on his head. Yeah. There is probably a way to do it, but I don't know it. So I can't help you, I'm afraid. I'm going to go ahead and pop a regen potion here. Maybe if I hit him, he won't hit me, but maybe I won't get another opportunity to test that out. Oops. There we go. Just wait for him to get a bit further away if you're not too confident with your platforming skills. So 
just like jump up here and start shooting them from here. Oh, you can duck. Nice. Awesome. There you go. Looks like it's a bit closer now, so I'll get up here. Start firing off some shots. There you go. This is partly the reason why I have so much gold on my main character. It's like you get quite a lot from these bosses. Guardians, guardians. Okay, so there's nothing more here except for this random glitch sword which you can't really get. I don't understand it, but it's no big deal. So the next area is let me just read this key again. The gardens. And the gardens are up here, so I'm going to control on zero to this guy over here. Wait, are they? Are they? No, they're not. I'm lying to you. While I'm here, I think I'll buy a few more arrows to stock up. I don't remember this area being the next area, but it probably is. Yes. I think there is one thing worth saying about how to fight monsters. Like, well, later on they don't do enough damage like these ones um, and you don't have to worry about them too much there are some where you do have to worry with this guy you can just deal with him from a distance and he'll never actually look onto you there we go I can also use magic against that guy. It's up to you, really. I have a bow, so I might as well use it. It's much cheaper. So let me check. Uh, yeah, I just want to. Hmm. Where do I go? Actually, there's a, a way up here, which is the, the way to go, I believe. go up there and find a bunch of stuff. But it is pretty tough to do so. And you probably want to put away your... Mm, yeah, I wouldn't want to risk losing your pet doing this. But if you just dash up here really quick. Ah, like a boss. Things are 
still as annoying as they always were. Oh well. Ah, that's a actually a good time to point out. I have some vampire bats in my inventory. Not cool. If you don't notice them, they'll kill you and you'll have no idea. So I've actually lost quite a bit of health from those. Just from talking to you. It's alright. It's all good. Ah. Uh, I'm gonna get out of here and just drink a potion. I think I'm gonna have to take back what I just said about taking damage from monsters, especially these ones. They're still quite problematic. So this is a shortcut you'll open up uh, during the tower if I'm right, yeah, you can see this pink doorway here, that's to the tower, or part of the tower. And you can see the gate that opens it there, and the ladder. I believe you drop down on it from the tower again. Although... I could be wrong. These guys are a pain in the ass. So you'll want to let your ice pet charge. This is how I got through here. Because they can't explode while they've got frozen stats on them. It's a bit of a spoiler before they come and kill me. So, drop down. Ah, yeah, there you go. That tells you everything you need to know. Stand in that, you're gonna die. Poniard. It's a dagger. There you go. I'm gonna shoot this guy from over here. Seeing as they haven't spotted me yet. Nice, free heals. Get off some more coins and uh, an assault axe. Awesome. 147. That was well worth coming up here for. Yeah, I think that door gets there. I don't remember having problems with that door up there though. Antidote. Awesome. I'll put it in there. I put it on a six of my other characters, so I'll go ahead and put that on there. This is basically a shortcut back. That's why I don't remember it. Okay. So there's nowhere else to go through here. This was just a, a nice room of loot and stuff. So you, you probably won't come back here. Safe to say. 
This is a bit of a problem. Uh, uh, there we go. I think we're good to go. Hmm. I don't remember there being any threats over this way. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can just run straight across. Gives me a nice break. I can just chill for a minute, allow him to think. Here we go. I do like the music in area, this area. It's quite cool. So the first thing you want to do... The first thing you want to do is come up to this area. And open up your shortcut. Cold Axe is doing work on these guys. There we go. I think that's a good place to end this part. I do need to save. And we'll return to the garden later on. Thanks for watching.